Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. The question in this video is, where do I find the maximum ZS when using an RCD? So if you're working on an installation where you need to rely on the 30 milliamp RCD protection to comply with the disconnection time, such as in a TT system, what value should you enter in the column for the maximum permitted ZS? Table 41.3 provides values for maximum ZS for circuit breakers to BSEN 60898 and RCBOs to BSEN 61009. For example, a 32 amp Type B device, the maximum ZS is 1.37. However, if we're working on a TT system, it is possible that the ZE alone will be greater than this figure. So how can this be the maximum ZS? So if we turn over the page in BS761 and look at table 41.5, this gives us a maximum ZS of 1667 for a 30 milliamp RCD when this is used for fault protection. So if that's the case, why does table 41.3 say that the maximum ZS for a 32 amp type B RCBO to BSEN 61009 is 1.37 ohms? This is because when using an RCD for fault protection, it is still necessary for the circuit to include an overcurrent protective device. The overcurrent protective device could be an MCB in a split load board, or it could be an individual RCBO that incorporates the RCD protection for full current, as well as the protection against overcurrent. So we need to bear in mind that the RCD protection only applies to full current, which is live to earth. It is the overcurrent protective device that protects against overload and short circuit. So which values should I enter on the schedule of test results? If we are relying on the 30 milliamp RCD for fault protection, then we could use the value required by table 41.5. So that would be 1667 ohms for a 30 milliamp RCD or RCBO. If the maximum measured ZS is within the maximum permitted ZS required by table 41.3, then I would enter the value from table 41.3, so that's 1.37 ohms for a 32 amp type B RCBO. But when we record the maximum measured ZS on the right hand side of the test results, we need to ensure that the maximum measured ZS doesn't exceed the formula in Appendix 3, which relates to adjusting for operating temperature. So the formula in Appendix 3 shows that ZS max must be less than or equal to 0.8 multiplied by UO multiplied by C min divided by IA, which basically multiplies the value from table 41.3 by 0.8, which reduces the value by 20% to allow for the difference in operating temperature. I explain this further in another video on my channel regarding maximum ZS, and I'll put a link at the top of the screen. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please subscribe and click on the notification bell to hear about future videos.